roll the gas on some gang shit Broke boy spent his last dollar on that lame bitch Bezos on my feet, yeah, watch where you step Bitch, when I point that Ruger, you fuck niggas getting sprayed Hit, pull up on the block, roll the gas on some gang shit Broke boy spent his last dollar on that lame bitch Bezos on my feet, yeah, watch where you step Bitch, when I point that Ruger, you fuck niggas getting sprayed Hit, alright bro, I'm about to pull up Get in the back, back of the back What's up you guys, it's your girl Kay and you're watching K Minute TV and I am back with another voiceover. Now this voiceover I'm going to be talking about people completely different. Um, I'm going to be talking about Aspect Xavier and Vanessa Lynn, Team VZ. Now, before I start this, like I used to love them, like I used to love their videos, I used to love their content, I used to just love everything about them, especially like Vanessa, like I felt like I could really relate to Vanessa when she used to do her story times, but you know, she doesn't do them anymore, so um, I really haven't been watching any of her content, to be honest, but today's video, we're going to be talking about the Aspects AV and Vanessa Lynn breakup. Now... I really hope like this isn't staged because considering who they all used to hang around, they used to hang around Janae, Ari, all of them, they do fake shit. So I'm pretty sure that was going to rub off on them, but I guess they removed themselves. But allegedly they broke up and Vanessa is dating another YouTuber and I'll talk about her later on in the video, but they've been making videos about each other Vanessa and Xavier they've been making videos back and forth about each other and I'm going to play some of the clips from some of those videos and I'll come back with the rest of my commentary it's like I feel betrayed like like she been broke our soul tie like she there was no, she was never thinking like there was nothing there like you know what I'm saying I feel betrayed for real I mean, I guess it happens to us all, but like, I just didn't think that it was gonna be like this for me. You know what I'm saying? Then I have a daughter, a beautiful young lady that I have to raise. And like, all this is gonna affect the way that she like understands. Like, you know, like, she probably don't understand it right now. I don't wanna get into the details and I don't wanna bash him because at the end of the day, um, I was in love with him at one point and he is the father of my daughter. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be respectful. You guys are um, supportive, but for the people who are not supportive, I just wish you guys would just, in a way, mind your own business and just let me be happy because I'm pretty sure people let you do you and people let you be happy. Like I said, I'm not gonna put his business out there. I wouldn't want him to put my business out there, but we know that we was not compatible. Like we did get it out the month together, but it just not gonna work. I love you. But I have to move on for my sanity. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I feel really awkward. Want to get a girlfriend that fast when there's all of these like real life things that we have to handle before you can bring in a whole new person to start it with. And then you put that person on the internet already. It's just like, it doesn't make sense for you to move that fast because we already have a lot of stuff that we have to part ties with in real life. Like. You know, like leases and, and, and stuff like that. We have our name on certain stuff together. Like I said, I'm not here for that conversation or to have that conversation with her. I'm solely here to just get my daughter because at the end of the day, I have not seen her in a week now. What the hell? I'm just, I'm, I don't want no problems. I'm just here for my daughter. Now, at first, when I first heard about this, I thought that it was real because in real relationships, you know, on social media, you know, you just delete the pictures, you delete things like that. You really don't say much about it because you don't want people in your business. But now they're making videos about it, like back to back. I'm just wondering if Vanessa is going to make a video. And if Vanessa makes a video about the situation, that's when I know for a fact myself that it's fake. You guys can form your own opinions whenever you want. But in my opinion, if Vanessa makes a video that's when i know that it's fake because we just seen this cycle with Aaron and trey and then it came out that it was a quote-unquote social experiment no they were just trying to do that stuff for views and it didn't work and people caught on to the bullshit but i feel like Xavier and vanessa are trying to do that same thing because 
partially like I feel like the breakup is real but I feel like the drama is fake and I kind of feel like they're at an understanding where they know like we're not going to be together but let's make some money off of this you know that's what a lot of YouTube couples do now when they don't want to be with each other you know they just fake the funk and one thing that I guess they have an understanding of is that we're not going to fake it but we're going to try to capitalize off of this you know I don't want to say opportunity, but it's a potential opportunity because it'll bring money in. Now, I want to talk about Vanessa's quote unquote new girlfriend. I think her name is like Dream or something like that. If it's not, I'm sorry. But I used to watch Dream because she used to do stripper vlogs. She used to be a stripper. And, you know, it doesn't really take much for you to blow up on YouTube. All you need is that one video and you could take off okay but dream used to do stripper vlogs and stuff like that and she blew up to the point where you know she doesn't strip anymore but yeah i knew the girl looked familiar but i was like hold on wait a minute like this girl looks really fucking familiar okay but i'm just saying like if this was a real thing i just feel like bringing someone that you only met for the second time around your daughter is foul especially if you haven't even introduce your new thing to your old thing now i watched all the videos i watched them full out and apparently on Xavier's side just a month ago him and vanessa was all cool they was good and stuff like that but one thing that i've noticed about Xavier and vanessa is they are completely different one thing i've noticed is like Xavier's work ethic is very strong you know he used to post videos every single day post dancing videos every day and i just felt like he was the one that was really motivating vanessa to keep her going because if you guys aren't true watchers of vanessa and her story vanessa had a pretty hard life you know and i really don't think that she really had anybody in her life to motivate her until she met Xavier. and i think maybe after a while she got tired and I'm not trying to just put it on her because I feel like Xavier is all about work. And at a certain at a certain point of your life, you have a girlfriend and a child. So when do they come first? I'm not saying that he wasn't putting them first, but he's always about his work ethic. And that can get very tiring. When you're not giving a woman what she wants and the attention that she needs, she's going to seek it elsewhere. And that's why I think he's caught off guard because he didn't think like, you know, I could get my girl taken. And I think his ego was hurt because he got his girl taken by another girl. But to all the males out there pay attention to your girlfriend because at the same time what you won't do or what you're lacking someone else will do and will basically fill the void that you are giving your girl and like i said i just think the breakup is real but these little videos and storylines and all that, I feel like that's fake. I feel like at the same time, like you said, he doesn't want to disrespect her. She doesn't want to disrespect him. They have an understanding of what they are doing, you guys. So do not, you know, just think like it's natural just for somebody to be coming up in the house recording about a real breakup and it's going to be cool. Because if I was in those shoes and my ex popped up at my house with me and my baby and potentially my girlfriend and i don't know if she was there or not you know we'll only see i feel like Xavier is stalling out this drama you know by doing the little videos and then cutting them off at the end to keep it going you know and i'm gonna say you know get your money do what you need to do to get by and stuff like that and i'm not saying they need to get by but at the same time youtube is entertainment and if you're gonna do things for entertainment put in the beginning or say this is for entertainment purposes only because i just don't think people in real life do stuff like this like oh my god i'm pull out the camera and we're just gonna throw our business all out there on the internet now one thing i want to address vanessa was telling people to mind their business people can't mind their business when you put them in your business nobody told you to make a video with this new girl talking about oh well this is my new girlfriend you did that on your own so you opened that door to basically having people judge you comment on your situation but i can understand how she's getting irritated with people always saying that she probably cheated the reasons that relationships don't work out doesn't always have to be around the lines of oh well they cheated on me or they did this wrong by me sometimes people just grow apart 
and it is what it is and you have to move on from there that's all that it is and yeah but that's all i really have to say on this topic excuse me if you guys want to follow up on this because i know xavier will be posting another video let me know in the comments below if you feel like this is real comment down below if you feel like it's fake comment down below if you feel like you know they have an understanding of what they are doing and they're just doing it for the money then comment that down below as well but thank you guys for watching this video make sure that you comment like subscribe share this video tell a friend tell a friend about moi and i'll see you guys in the next one all right bye